What is going on guys? My name is Blue Spartan. Today I am excited to announce I'm going to be starting my Road to Gold series. Now how this series is going to work is I'm going to make a video for every gun in Modern Warfare Remastered and that video for the gun is going to be split up into two parts. The first part of the video is going to be me getting the gun gold. Now I have every gun in the game five kills away from gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop into a game, get it live so you can see my reaction and stuff. The second part of the video is me giving you guys some tips and tricks and stuff how to get the gun gold more efficiently. Now I want this series to be entertaining but I also want to be helpful for anybody who's trying to get regal, exclusion zone, whatever type of camos you're going for. Now the order of the guns I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off left from right. So when you go into your guns, you can see assault rifles, submachine guns, sniper rifles. So I'm just going to start with assault rifles and I'm going to start with the M16. I'm going to go all the way down. Then I'm going to move to submachine guns, go all the way down, and then etc. So like I said, I am five kills away from getting this gun gold. So now I'm just going to go hop into a game get the five kills I need to get the M16 gold, and then we'll go from there. All right, so it looks like we found some showdown domination. Um, it shouldn't take this long. I only need five kills. If we get two of them right here. Oh, we got the assist. So we got one kill, four more to go. There's number two. There's another guy over here to my right. Number three, we are two kills now away from gold. Uh, we're just going to run down the staircase right here. I'm pretty sure they're in this main entrance. If we can get two kills, that'd be fantastic. There's one. Come on, where is the last? Oh, wow, we have to wait till half. Was that a guy right there to my right? All right, we're just going to rush right down the middle. Hopefully, we get that one kill we need. There he is. And there we go, guys. I think we should have uh, gold popping up any second. There we go. M16A4, red dot rampage. Earned 150 kills. And there's the gold camo. All right, guys, we officially have started our series. Real quick, guys, I'm going to put the gold camo on my gun and show you if this is all legit. Um, I got the uh, battle-worn camo on it as well, or the battle-worn kit. We'll load in here on this training arena. See, here we go. We have the gold M16. I'll probably end up doing this in every video just to show you the gold camo. Now I'm going to be moving on to the second part of the video where I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the M16 gold more efficiently. I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks that I learned while I was trying to get this gun gold. Also in the background, I'm going to be playing or showing you guys all the headshots that I've gotten while I was trying to get the M16 gold. I recorded most of the 150. I might have to replay some of the footage, but that way you guys can see the headshots, see how I got them, and it also proves that I did not boost for my gold ammos. With that said, everybody knows the M16 is one of the most overpowered guns in the game, and because of its high damage and accuracy, this gun is easily the best gun in the assault category to get headshots with. Now I'll put the attributes on screen while I'm talking about this, but the first thing I'm really going to cover when I talk about the guns in MWR is if you guys should play hardcore are core to when you get these headshots. At the end of the day, it's always going to be your decision on what game mode you want to play, but my advice to you guys is most weapons in this game are easier to get headshots in in regular core, especially the M16. Now there may be a few guns easier to get headshots with in hardcore, and I'll tell you which guns are easier when we get to them later in the series. If this was Black Ops 3, I'd go tell you guys to go play hardcore, but because the time to kill is so much faster, and you have the ability to use stopping power, I really do recommend core for this game. Okay, so now going back to the M16, you're going to want to put a red dot sight on for the, your attachment. The red dot really opens up your visibility and it makes it easier to aim for the head. Also, you want to make sure you're using stopping power. For the most part, stopping power won't help out that much. Like I said, the time to kill in this game is really incredible, but the real reason why you want to have stopping power on is for those annoying juggernauts. If you guys come across a juggernaut your only real chance of getting a headshot off them is to have stopping power on okay guys so the last thing I want to talk about is your sensitivity guys having a lower sensitivity will really help you out when you're going for headshots now for assault rifles I really do recommend you use a three or four sensitivity and because MWR allows you to change your vertical and horizontal sensitivities you can also experiment with lowering your vertical sensitivity I personally play on a two vertical and a three horizontal sensitivity it really helps you keep your screen centered when you're going for those headshots. Okay guys, that is it for today's episode. Now because this was the first episode, I went very in depth. I'm not going to be doing this in every video. I'm going to keep each episode 
after this one strictly to that gun that we're talking about. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to go check out my other episodes. I'm going to cover every single gun in this game. Anyway, this has been Blue Spartan, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.